Yes, so Naomi's going hiking, and I'm having a hard time with this word problem because I, I've been hiking, but only, you know, summer vacation. Some people are reading this word problem in North Carolina, and they're like, oh, yeah, we did that hike. Do you guys have a good perspective about the celebration? So you still want to see it every year? Do you look more? Which is almost always the case in word problems. And then the change in elevation is going to be the y value. So if I was to write this as an ordered pair, I'd say at 7 a.m., Naomi started at 7,400 feet on her foothill. And then by 11, she hiked up to 9,800 feet to her hiking destination. So the slope formula we reviewed yesterday, change in y, and this is like literal rise over run, like actual change in elevation over change in time. So I would do um, 9,800 minus 7,400 in the numerator and 11 minus 7 in the denominator. What did you guys come up with? Mark. So it's 2,400? Four. So, uh, yes, and when we do that, when we reduce that, that's called a unit rate. So she went up um, 600 feet every hour. So her rate of change in altitude in a complete sentence, I would say Naomi is average rate of change was 600 feet each hour. Seems like a lot to me. 600 feet. Seems like far for you, right? Like how much further is that? Yeah. Maybe that's a lot. What I wanted to say was I think she gave out 50 stories, 50 quotes on her core when we came in at 2.30, 50 stories then. I'm very happy. Okay, so depreciation, I think it's kind of a problem. I don't think we can really use it for word problems because there's a lot of math. All sorts of There's a depreciation rate, and accountants get to calculate how much that machine is worth every year it gets repaired, so that the company only pays taxes on what it's actually worth, not on its new value. So that's what this is about, the depreciation rate. Car dealerships also do this. If you have a whole lot full of 2021, you have a 
lot of, um, you know, products on your parking lot. You have a lot of thousands. But if you don't sell those in four years, your lot does not become valuable. You can't just make that same value in order to sustain a lower building payment on your lot. You have to calculate the purchase price on every deal, on everything your business is doing. So that's what accountants are for. Managers aren't doing that. The accountants are. So this is an eight-year slide, and there's a big time differentiation in the first three years and the second um, five years. So go ahead, find the rate of change between the purchase and the sale. Anybody know an accountant? Do they like their job? Do they like their job? Are they happy? Is she happy with it? Oh, get, just getting started? Be stressful during tax season, but I think it's a good job. Are you okay. Are you balancing the city's books? Oh, cool. So predicting the cost and calculating the cost. So many counting jobs out there. You should consider it. Not a lot of drama. Just working with the numbers. People check you, but they don't really know what you're doing unless they're accountant. So you don't have a lot of people watching you. <clears throat> so I'm going to say year one, our machine was... Um, $15,600. So that's my first point. One comma, $15,600. Uh, year three, it was down to $7,500. It's not brand new anymore. The machine is not worth the same amount. So go ahead, do slow formula, rate of change to find out how much the machine um, depreciated every year. It's actually like there's like a special standard that companies are allowed to depreciate so that you can I can't just say, oh, my machine's up ten thousand dollars a year this year. It, it has to be like based on some standard. So when the IRS comes and audits my company, those are the things they're looking for. Did I depreciate my equipment correctly? Do I have really what I say I have? So, so Fortune 500 companies are really wealthy companies, so their accountants are just buying stuff and selling stuff based on how much they depreciate. Sometimes you know, they're not even using it. Just check, check to make sure. So what did we get here? What's 75 minus 50? So our complete sentence answer I'm going to say the average rate of depreciation depreciation I'm going to abbreviate the team took all the E's out between year one and three is 4050 So we can take $4,050 off the value of this machine. So when I pay taxes on my asset, I don't have to pay as much taxes. That's letter A. Now letter B is going to be different. Because the first three years you buy a brand new machine, that machine's working awesome. Actually, let me figure it isn't really working out with the numbers here. But as time goes on, the way they depreciate equipment changes. 
usually towards the end, it loses more value. Let's start the. I was doing the yes and wanting to take the care of and Does it have two P's? Is that what you're saying? No. So it's going down um, 90, $940 each year. On average. So it, it really changes every year how much you can um, depreciate it. Yeah, my number here is negative, but in my sentence, I didn't put the machine changes by negative 940. I used the word depreciate. So how can we answer this letter C? How can we interpret this sign, meaning the negative rate of change? Well, the elevation was positive because she was walking uphill, right? Somebody's going to give her what? Somebody else speak. Yes. The machine is losing value. Almost every investment or every asset loses value. What's the biggest thing that you can purchase that gains value? It doesn't lose value. Is it the house or is it the land? I know it's property. Like the answer is real estate. It's property. But that's because land is always increasing in value. Though the houses right now are the actual building. Because it needs to be updated. Though prices right now are really high, probably they're going to go down. Because things are just like much more up and down these days than they used to be. So we used to say like, like real, well, you can still really count on real estate. Um, appreciate, it appreciates, not depreciates. Can you think of anything else that depreciates besides machinery? Cars depreciate over time. You know, they say, you want to drive it off the lot. It's not worth anything. It depreciates quickly. Yeah. Stocks do both, right? Stocks do both. Those public stocks appreciate. Any of your families have stock in publics? Yeah. Good for you.
But it, some stocks right now are depreciating because the business isn't good. Rare toys. Same thing with rare cars, like antique cars. They'll still go up. What are some toys that might appreciate? I bet Legos, Pokemon. Antiques. Antiques, even though they, after something's over 50 years old, its value starts going up again because it's considered an antique. Okay, get out your homework. Let's just look at those antiques.